Imagine receiving so much universal hate that you're actually forced to listen. That is the situation Bandai Namco is currently in. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Deez Asylum. I'm your ward of the Meet Shrine and today, wow, for once, they actually fucking listened. Would you look at that? Do you, do you have any idea how happy everybody is all the time when you just don't treat us like shit? So they just released the news for the new World Challenge Raid that is actually dropping this week This week on uh, Wednesday. And I was reading through it. Rewards are the same. But obviously the most important one, is, the most important thing about it is the uh, rates for the medals. Who is doing what for the medals? Now, you, you can still get up to 50 medals if you have the new Dragon Fist Goku at 9 stars. However, it's not so egregious because six stars gives you 40 and then two stars gives you 30. So not only is the difference not so fucking drastic, but there's actually also a middle ground too. You also get something for six stars and the guaranteed drop is not locked behind you having a six star Goku. The drops are just guaranteed. So that makes things a whole hell of a lot easier for people to actually do this shit. And then on top of that, there's far more units that actually give you more medals. I mean, just look look at this. Look at how many units actually give you medals. Yeah, none of them come even close to the amount that Dragon Fist gives you. Like, half of them together is how much he gives you at two stars. But still, it's, it's nice to see that there are so many units. There are actually more units that give you um, boosted uh, medals than there are slots for you to put the units in on the bench for the, for the fucking raid. So you actually have options. There's a lot of free units here as well that don't give that much, but the new anniversary units all give a decent amount if you have a maxed out, which is five. That's nice. Gamma 1 and 2, they give them. The EXs now don't need to be at fucking 6 stars for you to get anything from them. So that's nice. And the UI Goku and Vegeta are also giving you stuff. So you can actually still grind these medals even if you just have them. Now is it going to be efficient? No, but not as efficient as having Dragon Fist, obviously. But honestly, this is just, this is all we wanted to see. This right here was all we wanted to see from, from, the, from the beginning. Just don't make it so egregious. Just don't make the difference between star levels so egregious that it, it entirely alienates free players. Like, even if you have all of these units at the lowest possible star amount that you can get the boosted uh, medals from, you will still get more than you would have from the previous raid with any combination of units at any stars with the exception of a 9-star UI Goku. 9-star UI Goku is the only way you would have gotten anywhere near as many medals. And he had to be at 6 in order for him to be guaranteed in the first place. So, <laughs> this raid is most definitely, definitely better. And they're not going to gimp us on the rewards either because the rewards are all the same. And in fact, the rewards are even better because Hoi Poi coins now also drop in the actual raid, which they didn't last time because fuck your continuity. <laughs> fuck consistent consistency, bruh. The fucking only time in history that the Hoi Poi coins and the raid have not been, you know, one and the same. Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand what was so hard about the... I don't know why they felt the need to, br to break a formula that already worked. Stop trying to fix shit that isn't broken. Just put more rewards in there. And there's your anniversary raid. That's all you had to do. <laughs> I think they finally fucking realized that. So... Uh, I'm very happy to see that, you know, for once, for once, they actually fucking listened. It only took the entire community, 
just hammering down on them with the might of Zeus. It really shouldn't take that much, by the way, Bandai. It really should not take the amount of backlash and just flat-out hate that you got when that raid came out for you to actually do your fucking jobs right. Because realistically, it shouldn't have come down to that. We shouldn't have needed to be so fucking angry with you. You should have fucking done it right the first goddamn time. You should have looked at what you had done, said, well, that seems unfair, and changed it before you ever even fucking released the shit. But, it, obviously, you didn't do this because you give a shit about us. You changed it so that we'd stop complaining about your fucking anniversary, which I, we still will. Trust and believe, I, I'm still going to. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, let's let's not let's not turn this into a fuck the anniversary video. Because that video is a uh, one, I already made one of those, and two, I had to make another one of those because the anniversary is still shit. But this at the very least is good. Alright? Finally, for the first time since this anniversary started. I can actually say that something is good.